Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Video 70. And in this video, we're actually going to be wrapping up the code of the Klingon Hello World and adding a little bit of Photoshop work. So let's get to it. Just to remind you of what we've been doing is we've created this um, login method. In that login method, we had four lines of code. We created a session. We logged in that session, and we have a wait for login listener and a connect listener that we're working through right now. And that will take us to the get info, and which will populate our container. So let's uh, go back to Flash Builder. And in Flash Builder, we've been working with the wait for login method, and that was the next block of code here. And so in that wait for login method, you actually have an alert box that pops up. So when you're working in Flash Builder, you'll get a screen from Face Builder. You'll click off of that. You'll click off of this um, alert box and close it. And when you do, you'll actually run... Uh, the close method and let's move down the, to the next block of code and in that next block of code you have the close method and in that close method it basically is validate login and when validate login occurs then you're actually going to run the connect method and let's roll over hold down our control key and connect method and when you do that you'll click on that and that takes you to the connect method so in my connect method there's actually only two lines of code that I'm interested in let me go ahead and uncomment those and the first one is basically creating a call variable using the Facebook call method. And this is very interesting because I'm actually going to use my Facebook post method in this particular arrangement of code. And so I have a, my Facebook session and my Facebook, my Facebook post. And in that Facebook post, I'm going to get the information from Facebook that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to need is that Facebook ID right here, which is going to come back from the Facebook session. And in that, I'm just going to populate get all values and so from the get info field values I'm gonna get all values let's go ahead and roll over that and hold the control key down click on that and you can actually see all the possible values that you can actually get uh, using the get info uh, method and boy isn't that a lot of stuff books education uh, hometown uh, meeting for your sex just stuff like that your picture size all the variables that you can just populate this entire grid array with and so many times it's when you find out what something does or where it comes from, just use the control over click and look at the class itself. So that's going to grab all those values and going to stuff it into the uh, call uh, variable. And that call variable is going to have an add listener to it. And when the add listener uh, fires, when it's grabbed all that information, we're going to run a get info complete method. And that's just below here. And this is going to basically populate our arrays for us now. So in that get info is that event and we're going to transfer all the information through that event into the get info handler so let's kind of uncomment this and I previously declared a get info data handler which is going to grab all the data from the event uh, of the get info method and going to use a get info data on that and from that handler I'm going to actually create a little array collection a kind of a Facebook array collection just like the same thing you do with the get results that we've done previously and uh, we're going to use a get item at zero. And when we do that, we're going to create yet another variable called the my user variable. And we're going to, that's going to be a Facebook user. And from that Facebook user variable or my user variable, we can actually grab all the information that we need. So the first thing we want to populate is my label. So if we go back to design view, we can see my label is here. And we want to actually populate that with something. And what we're going to populate that with, let's go back to that line of code. We go my label dot text, which is that label we looked at previously in design view, and we're just going to hello, and then we're going to concatenate onto it, concatenate using the plus sign my user dot first name. So whatever your first name is, it'll be hello Mike or hello Tom or whatever your name is. So to that username, we're going to concatenate thanks for logging in. I see you are a hearty Klingon, whatever user dot sex is going to be. So basically, we're just picking off now the different values from the array that we've populate it uh, and using the dot syntax and so uh, in this particular case it will be hello Mike I, thanks for logging in I see you are a hardy Klingon male so that works pretty nicely and the next thing we're actually just going to use once again my user dot syntax which is dot pick underscore square will give me a 50 by 50 picture and we're actually stuff that into the image source and then I'm just going to go ahead and populate the collection that I created previously using the add item so I'm going to populate it with the name the sex the address of the picture and the user first name and when that's done I want to stick that into the data grid and the way I stick that into the data grid is basically uh, create an array collection in my data grid let me show you where that is here's my data grid right here and in that data grid there's a data provider and I use these curly brackets and put my collection in it and pretty much I'm just populating with that collection so whatever is stuck in here will appear now in my data grid so let's just do a little bit more work on this. Let's put an introductory Klingon image. I don't like my image being blank when I start up the screen. So if you look at the design view, 
there's actually nothing there. And I, I'd actually like something to be there, like the Klingon image. So let's go look at our Klingon image on the desktop. So here's my Klingon image. And I need a 50 by 50 pixel image. So I'll open that up in Photoshop. And there's my image right there. So let's just click on image and we'll just go image size. And I actually want a 50 by 50, not a, not a 266 by 253. So let's change this to 50. This is 50 by 48. I can actually remove the constraint proportion, just put 50 by 50. And that'll be fine because there's not much difference between 48 and 50. And that's fine. That's the image I want. Let's go File, Save for Web. And there's our image. It's a JPEG. And we're going to come down here. You can see it's 1.77K, so that's not very big. Let's just go ahead and save that. And we'll save it right to the desktop. And we'll replace it. And now what we're going to do is actually just import that image in. So let's go to uh, the Flash Builder. And that's our 50 by 50. Let's copy that. And we'll go to our navigation view. And at this point, we don't have an assets packet yet. So let's go to our source folder. Let's right click on the SRC, go new folder. And we'll just call this assets. And we'll just paste our image folder in the assets folder. It's always nice to have your folder somewhere. So there we pasted it in, and there's our Klingon image right there. And at this point, we can just navigate to it in the source file right here. Just click on that little folder right there. Go to the SRC. And go to the assets folder and just click on that. And now you have the little Klingon image right there. So you actually have something staring at you. Hey, my Klingon, hello. And that makes it a little bit more uh, interesting. So let's run this program and see what happens. So it's the Klingon login. Let's log into that. And you're logged in, so if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to, and then it connects you to, to Facebook, grabs all your information for you, you can now click out of this, and if you OK, then your image will replace the Klingon image, and that's exactly what it did. So that's very nice. Now there's just a million more things you can do, and at this point we're going to move on and show you how to deploy this to the web, and then we'll start working with our previous application. So let's quickly review what we did in this video. Basically, we wrapped up all the code. We had a login method, which had a create session, a session login, a wafer login, and a connect method. The wafer login uh, actually got us into the system, and we closed the initial screen that popped up from Facebook, and then we ran a validation code and connected. Once we connected, we got all the important information using the get info method, and then we populated our containers. Once that was done, we did a little bit of Photoshop work, so we could actually get that Klingon uh, staring at us at the Klingon hello so we would not be so bored. And here's our Klingon image which is replaced by our image as soon as we log in. We're going to go ahead and deploy this to the web next time and we'll show you how to do that. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.